let's do a one year review of the Lazy Man's trolling motor. to fall in the water right when I launched the boat and spot lock it I've had this Altera for over a year now it was on my jet boat and now I've moved it to my 20 foot bay boat And it's been a pretty good trolling motor. Although I did have to take it to Swafford's once for repair. When I first bought the trolling motor, it had a really, really bad noise. And eventually it got stuck in the up position and wouldn't do anything. So I took it to Swafford's and they fixed it under warranty. Maybe they were in a hurry when they built the unit. I don't know. I know during that time frame. It was almost impossible to find an Altera. I actually bought this one from Bass Pro Shops and it was the last one they had. And like I said, it spent the majority of its life on an 18 foot jet boat. And when I was going down the river with this on max speed, which is the rabbit, it would get 3.3 miles per hour. So on this 20 foot boat, against the wind, because the wind is blowing at us right now, I am getting 2.9 miles per hour, 3.0 miles per hour, 3 miles per hour. When there's no wind, I've seen actually 3.2 miles per hour, which is incredibly good for an 80 pound thrust trolling motor on a 20 foot boat now this isn't quite as wide as like a pro cat i had a 112 pound trolling motor on the pro cat that i had in the past and that's a 20 foot by 72 inch wide boat this boat is only 68 inches wide and has i don't know some kind of special hull that makes it a little bit more stable than what you think it would be for a little bit more narrow boat this hull also rides on the water incredibly well now i guess i'm going to show you some of the features of this trolling motor that i use often there's this north button and there's an in on it you click that and it will continue to head roughly in the direction that it was pointed at it's not perfect it will drift a little bit but it's really good if i'm trying to troll or if I'm hitting the bank and don't want to fool with my remote. If you're going for bass or skipjacks, you really want to have the pedal or even the trolling motors that have the pedal directly attached to it because they respond quicker. But for a catfish boat where I live off the back of the boat, this is the perfect trolling motor. As you can see, we're still on North feature. We're on the rabbit mode, which is setting 10. It says 2.9 miles per hour. Now rabbit mode, you hit the rabbit twice to get into it, and then you hit it twice to get out of it. So it goes back to four where I had it set. And then I can turn the north feature off and it's still going. Then I hit the button to turn it off. Now the next feature that I use a lot is anchor mode, which I hit the anchor button. It will remember the GPS location. And if I'm still moving, it will stop and try to get me back to that location. And then it will hold me in the location so I can put all the rods and reels out the back of the boat and fish. On my other boat, I've fished up to four to five hours like this and it never really drained my batteries at all. I had two normal lead acid deep cycle batteries. On this boat, I have Ionic 50 amp hour lithium ion batteries. So it remains to be seen how good those batteries are. I've been on 
three different trips and I have not gone below 80% on the batteries yet. One of them was a musky fishing trip and the other two were catfish trips where I used the trolling motor as my anchor. What's funny right now is that's downstream. So the wind is holding me in a position where I would be fishing upstream. So there's no current going on right now to kind of uh, offset the wind. So you're definitely at mercy to the wind when there's no current when you're using spot lock. Now there are other features on this trolling motor that I don't use. It is a networking trolling motor, which means I could connect it to my fish finder, set up points, and it would drive to those points. And I think that's the go to button. I have a Garmin now, so I can't do that. There's also a jog feature where it will go so many feet and stop and then go so many feet and stop. For that jog feature to work properly, according to Minn Kota, I have to install the hockey puck, which I have not done yet. I was told by Minn Kota, the only thing the hockey puck is used for is the jog feature directly from Minn Kota. So basically go to them and find out why they told me that because there's a lot of people out there that say the hockey puck helps with the GPS because it's a compass. I really don't have problems with my spot lock wandering. So I don't know. I think it is for the jog feature just because I don't use the hockey puck. There is one more feature that I didn't show you guys, but it has, where are you? Trim, which means I can go up and down. So if I'm in really, really skinny water, I can bring it almost all the way out of the water and move the boat. Years ago, in my 17-foot jet boat, I actually had to do this a couple of times whenever I grounded out that boat. I'd get on a sandbar, I couldn't get out with the 65 jet that was on that boat, so I had to use the trolling motor to pull my boat off of the sandbars. When you're in deep water like this, just keep it down. And I don't put it all the way down, I just put it so it's under the water enough to be below the bottom of the boat. I think this is 60 inch shaft or maybe 90. I, I don't remember. I don't remember what their max is, but that is the longest shaft trolling motor. I don't know what shaft they recommend on this Excel Bay Pro 203, but it's working out. Let's stow it. Then hit the button twice to deploy. And then spot lock. Now the maintenance on these is pretty easy. All the rubber and plastic parts like the belt, I put a silicone spray on and then the metal moving parts put a marine grade spray on lithium grease. At least that's what I use. And I've been doing that over the past year and it sounds beautiful. It acts like it's still brand new and everything. It's done real good after the repair. Swaffords, they do a really good job. Now I will say this, I know who bought my old ProCat and they have not been taking care of that 112 Altera that's on that ProCat. And it's been sitting outside in the rain for the past year and a half, two years. And I was just over there the other day and I tell you what, it sounds pretty bad. It's pretty horrible. So if you keep your boat outside and you have an Altera, I would suggest covering it up and also doing the maintenance more often. I actually should have done maintenance on the trolling motor after I washed the boat, which was my last video. If I can remember, I'll do maintenance to it once I get the boat back in the garage. I'll tag that on to the end of this video. Now, I do have a quick release bracket on here just to make it easy to put on and take off the boat. And it locks, there's a lock there, so that keeps it secure in place. And there's a little like keyhole where you have that that screws in to hold it in place as well. That will come out. So thankfully, if that little screw comes out, 
I have the lock on it to hold it in place. I've actually had that happen on the 18 foot jet boat. Now how you installed the trolling motor on the Excel boat, you have to take that little bitty panel off and reach underneath there to put the nuts on the bolts to bolt everything down. It's a really tight fit, but it is doable. And they do pre-wire this boat for a 24 volt trolling motor. They even gave me the plug to plug it in with. I just added it to the cord, plugged it in, and then took the wires underneath the console and put it to the batteries. I did need to have a jumper cable between the two 12 volt batteries because the 24 volt battery system, you need two 12 volt batteries connected to each other. You do positive to negative between the two batteries on the jumper and then hook up the trolling motor wires positive to positive on one battery, negative to negative of the other battery. I think that's called series. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. And let me know what you think about the lazy man's trolling motor. I seem to have an Altera addiction. I've had one on every single boat I've owned for the past five years. You can blame my buddy Ty for that because he had a trolling motor with spot lock and he was using that as an anchor when I went fishing with him for the first time six years ago. And having it, you know, deploy for me is icing on the cake. Now, I think I'm gonna go fishing and then I'll get back with you guys on this video on the maintenance of this trolling motor. All right, back from not catching a single fish, let's do some quick maintenance. Now I've got white lithium grease and I've got real magic. This real magic is a silicone spray. And I put the real magic on this rubber track system that's on the, uh, the shaft. And then the white lithium grease on the moving metal parts. It'd be better if I had a little straw, but I lost a straw a long time ago. Now I know someone told me once that you're not supposed to do the corkscrew that's in here. However, the manual, either on page 46 or 42, I don't remember, it says to grease the corkscrew. So I, I don't know. I haven't asked Minn Kota. It might be a good idea for me to call them and ask. Their customer service is pretty good at answering questions. And there we go. A one year review of a Minn Kota Altera the expensive lazy man's trolling motor. Now I hope this does last me a few more years. However, if I go to saltwater with this, cause this is a saltwater bay boat with aluminum trailer and I plan on doing so, I'm going to either have to buy or borrow a riptide. This is not sealed to keep saltwater out of the motor and other parts on this Altera. The riptides are sealed that's why they cost a little bit more and they're rated for salt water but for now this will do me i'd rather use what i already have than spend three thousand dollars to buy a new trolling motor now i really do hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe you've learned something new this is a very nice trolling motor to own now as always i want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video i really really appreciate it hopefully one of these days i will actually catch fish myself in the boat. I have been getting fish in the boat, but it's been clients. They've been catching the fish, but every time that I've taken it out, I haven't caught a fish yet. It's only a matter of time that I actually catch a fish in this boat, so stay tuned. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you next time.